So after working the sawmill a little bit, we found it a little bit difficult cranking it up and down and pushing it back and forth all the time. Uh, found it a little bit rough, so we decided to uh, make a bit of an improvement on it. So we went ahead and we bought this here. Audrey wants to move in. It's the power head up and down and forward and back. So we're going to work on installing that. That's going to be our project for today. And over here, we've already started working a bit on it. Audrey wants to show us. This is the installation for the chain. It's basically just two bolts. One bolt here, one bolt below. It's nothing very complicated. And the motor itself, it's the same thing on the other end though, of course, because you have to have the chain attached on both sides. And the motor, of course, was just uh, four bolts. Remove the uh, old bolts that were there because they give you longer ones because you got an extra plate to go through. And uh, bolt that on there. It's pretty straightforward, four bolts. So that was easy. So now we're going to continue working on the, uh, the shaft to uh, lower and raise it and put on the electric motor. Which is probably more difficult. Yeah, it'll probably take a little bit more longer. We'll see. Removing the cables, that raise and lower the head. We've already removed the covers. Now we're going to get ready to remove the bar to replace that. So we got the old rod replaced and the new rod is in. And now we're going to uh, position it. And then we're going to attach our cables and our motor to it. So here we got the motor, and they sent the key with us. It's right here. We're going to install it on the shaft, and that'll go into the motor over here. So we're going to bolt that on next. And that'll bolt on over here. In these two places. And the engine will slide on here. The scent is up here. If Audrey can show you. Not the scent, the uh, key will fit in here. So we installed the key, now we're going to install the motor. Let's turn that a little bit. Help you. So we have little uh, alligator clips on the battery with a wire and here John has little alligator clips going to the control of the motor and we're going to test the motor for up and down motion. Make sure everything's lined up and everything's working well. Going up smoothly. Oh yeah, that looks nice. That's perfect. And you reverse the polarity. Yeah, I just simply change the wires around on this side, positive the opposite. And there we go. And there it's going down. A little bit jumpy there. There we go. 
like that. So we're just putting the last cover back on. No, we'll just hold it there. Okay. Putting it too tight, you're turning it. Staying like that. Okay. So that's the last cover. We put these covers back on. And now it's all the uh, electronics now to hook up. So now that we've installed the motor, and the new bar that goes across for the lift. The cable's all attached. Now we're going to get ready to install the controller. So we got to remove the throttle, the wiring, so we can replace it because the bolt here has to be replaced with a longer bolt. If you look in the instructions, I'll show you that in a minute on the new one. So that's what we're going to be up to. We're going to start removing the cables as well as the uh, throttle. Let it go. Just slides off. Yep. We're installing our plate. So we got the plate in place. Well, we're installing it over here. We have to remove this bolt here, and that bolt will go through the hole here that was uh, with the other throttle previously, and that'll go in there and hold it in place. And then we'll put another bolt back in over in this side. So that's what we're working on. The impact should fit there. Yeah. You can't tighten that too much, right? No, no. Because it has to move. That has to move? Okay. Yeah. Snugged up a little bit. So we're working at installing this here. And as you can see up top where they want you to install it, 
we have a bracket on this side and nothing on this side so i don't like that i want it to be level so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to shim it out with some little washers i put some washers over here i don't know if you can see that i just put my bolt put some washers and now this plate here will be level with the other plate so when i tighten it up it's going to tighten in level So now we'll line this up, make sure our rope is nice and straight here, or our cable or whatever you want it, and we'll tighten it all down. Robbie wants to come on this side and show you. Just gotta go in. Post here. I'll put it straight in. So tighten it up. And tighten it to bottom. Okay. Now we'll tighten the bottom and we'll move on to connecting everything up. So now we're connecting up the vertical motor. Or not the horizontal really. Now, once it, I test it and make sure everything works, I'll come back and I'll tape these to make sure that they don't come apart, and I'll finish securing them to the motor here nicely. So we ran our wire up along here. Going down to the control box. Doesn't want to go in. There we go. So let's finish tie wrapping this up nice. Should be nice and clean, hopefully. So now are we ready to test it? No, well, we've got the battery cable to hook up. Oh, that's true. And we got this here uh, connector here to put up. A bunch of other little things to hook up yet. Okay. Check back later. So we just finished hooking up the chain and we're testing it it runs back and forth nicely and smooth and we came over here to this side Audrey can come over a little bit so when you raise up the head you have to be careful of this bolt on the guide so it doesn't hit the motor so that's something to keep an eye on either we'll have to replace that probably and put another bolt like we did here then you won't be able to adjust your scale. No, I know we won't be able to adjust it, but it's got to pass that motor if we want it to go up. Yeah, if we're doing big logs. Yeah. So this is our controller. And you'll see that it's a cordless one. There's no cords. So I'm very happy about that. And we can move ahead. different speeds you can slow it down as well as speed it up So 
overall, if it continues to work this way, I'll be very satisfied with this purchase. So these are the pieces we took off our sawmill to install our uh, power saw head and feed. The uh, bar, the throttle handle, the brake assembly, and the manual up and down crank. <laughs>